My name is Dr. Pedro Pisa. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon here at Delray Medical Center. And I do perform arthroscopic and reconstructive surgeries for the hip, knee, and shoulder. I specialize mostly in the shoulder, doing shoulder replacements and arthroscopic surgery to repair the rotator cuff. I practice at Delray Medical Center because it's an excellent hospital. It has won multiple awards for clinical excellence for the, for the last 10 years. It has great OR staff, great nursing care, Quality of care in the entire hospital is excellent. I feel very relaxed when I come here. Orthopedic surgery is a field where technology goes hand in hand with the outcomes of the patient. I think the administration allows me to use the latest technology, uh, including arthroscopic uh, surgery equipment, uh, minimally invasive uh, equipment for total hips and total knees. It also offers private patients rooms with bed available for the family members which makes it a speedy recovery for the patients and a comfortable experience for everyone. At Delray Medical Center, I perform multiple procedures, including hip and knee surgery, replacement, and sports medicine surgery for those. But I do specialize mostly in shoulder surgery, performing arthroscopic rotator cuff repairs using the latest technology, reusing patches to fix the rotator cuff, allowing them to do load sharing so that the tendon can heal in a proper fashion. We perform reverse shoulder surgery, which is a replacement for patients that have very limited range of motion of their shoulders and allows them to regain that motion that they've lost for the last couple of years. Candidates for shoulder surgery include multiple patients from every aspect of life. Whether you're a golfer, you're a tennis player, or you don't do any sports, you're gonna have some shoulder problems in your life. So if you have a torn rotator cuff that doesn't get better with conservative management, including some therapy, some injections, that you might be a candidate for shoulder replacement surgery or shoulder arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. My name is John Luciano and I live in Boca Raton, Florida. My condition was a rotator cuff problem and it hurt me immensely to reach for anything in the kitchen, especially in the morning for the toaster which was up on the shelf and uh, pain was excruciating to be exact. He had a rotator cuff tear, pretty massive, where he couldn't lift his arm at all. We saw him in the office, we tried some physical therapy, some cortisone injections, and modification of his activities of daily living, but he couldn't tolerate it. He wanted to be very active despite his age. So we bring, brought him to the OR through arthroscopic surgery, we fixed his rotator cuff. He went through a prolonged rehabilitation process of about three to six months, but he's now able to perform activities of daily living without any pain to his shoulder. He's able to reach above his shoulder level and perform activities that he couldn't do before. The operation was most successful. The therapy part was the hardest of the whole, of the whole thing, but it worked. I had uh, two seminar visits. The second time it was after I had the operation, so I could uh, listen to these other people who didn't go through what I went through. People were asking all kinds of questions about the operation, and I let them all ask the questions while I stood by and listened so that I could be the last question. He says, all right, one more question. And he saw me down the, down the end of the room, and I got up and gave them what I went through. And believe me, they listened, and by that, I told them about the Delray Medical Center. What a wonderful place that was. The service I got from the nurses and the doctors was fabulous. And the therapy. I told them the hardest part of the operation was the therapy. The patient should consider shoulder surgery if they have pain in the shoulder that doesn't get better with conservative management. Nowadays, the new technology and a new minimally invasive surgery allows the patient to have a better recovery speedy recovery to go back to the activities they want to do in life. Whether you're playing golf, whether you're playing tennis, you just want to reach into the cabinet and be able to function with activities of daily living. I feel good uh, considering what I've been through. I've been through much tougher operations than that. What surprised me most? Well, uh, everybody was so uh, kind and helpful to me, including the first minute that I entered the hospital at the room that I had to give all the information to, uh, they didn't know what to do for me. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Can I 
do this for you? Can I do that for you? They went overboard, I think, in uh, making my life and my stay. And it was only a short stay, but uh, they made it so pleasurable for me, and I, I'm grateful.